What the fuck are you doing with Black China? What the fuck are you doing with her? Is Black China the one that introduced you to that goddamn dusty dude that was sitting there in the car with you, hunched all over, looking at all this camera, looking up like... Did the camera see me? Do they see me? Now they won't leave me alone Cause they know I got a whole pocket full of stones Before we get started, please remember to like this video because it is very important to my success here on YouTube. I'd like to say thank you to all my seasoned and new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you. Now, let's talk about Wendy Williams. So, as we know, Wendy Williams is going through a divorce. I have not yet subscribed to this is an actual divorce. I don't know if this is just for the cameras. I don't know if this is what the people told her to do. What is that down there to the Carsey Warner or whoever it is that owns her and her show and her name told her to do. But I found the video that came out yesterday to be very suspect. Take a look. What's that? Pepper spray. You don't want the pepper spray. No. You don't oh want the God, pepper spray. No. You don't want the pepper spray. Keep them off. Okay, Wendy, so Wendy, like Wendy, 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 one, one more thing here. Kevin, person. if you don't, if you don't mind me asking here. That's not Kevin. It's not. Who's no, that? she looked at my friend. Oh, he's a friend. Please don't ask about Kevin. I won't ask. We have an 18-year-old son. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I'm sensitive to that, but that is not That's Kevin. Here. That's um. What's your name, sir? No, don't do it. I won't. I won't. I won't ask. Don't do it. I won't ask. I won't ask you. Okay. How? Look. How, how are you and the family doing? Me you and you and young Kevin. Right. Young, young Kevin and I are fine. You know, big Godspeed, and um, and you know, stuff happens in life. Yeah. Stuff happens, and and it's okay. I've I've still got a very full life that I really endured. Please don't make me cry. Okay, I won't. Oh, oh my God! I didn't plan on this, but it is what it is. I'm, I have got to go eat my food with potato salad and everything, and I got to get on the plane in the morning. But I have a very full life. Thank you for watching. I would ask you to respect our privacy, but please, I don't respect people's privacy. That's why I do the hot topics. So yeah. turnabout is a fair game, but um, all three of us. Are doing fine. Show. Are we gonna, are we gonna see the three of you guys? Yeah, I mean, sure. together. Is it, even, maybe not as a married. Yes, couple again, yes, but as a family of course again. you will. Kevin's got to graduate from college. He's going into his sophomore year. He's going to get married or whatever. He's going to celebrate. Yes, everybody's got to grow and up. And is he going to be back with his father again? Yes. Okay. They're not. They're not apart. I mean, you know, stuff happens in life. Yeah. Hey, Look, I'm hungry. And I'm hungry, and I got I got to go. I got to do. We not going for that. I understand, Wendy. Listen, you're you're great. Listen, welcome, welcome, welcome to LA. I love you, right? Um, and Wendy, you're beautiful. all right, Wendy, you're beautiful. I'm Ricky Williams, but not just because. Oh, what's, so what's, what's, what is that? There you go, John. All right. What I'm gonna put on to go to the airport, oh, honey? Lord. Nice. This with some leggings and a crop little top thing. You know how I do. There we do. <laughs> okay, now I'm out here right. in the streets. I'm not. But, I need to understand that. Part. I just, I, I just, I just, I just want to talk about the older Kevin and the young and the younger Kevin. I don't want to talk okay, about Okay, let's not talk about them. Forget it. it. You know what? You're no. really respectful. It's not He's fair. He's keeping me all windy. Um, she already I know. I'm about to get him off of here. I'm going to show and let the world know how wonderful she is. Especially him over there. Too. Are you guys friends? Yeah. Him? Yeah. Wendy's gorgeous. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, come on, Wendy. Uh, Wendy. Uh, 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 Wendy, you're just going to voluntarily give the paparazzi your new dude? No, I'm not. No, I'm not subscribing to that bullshit. I'm not. Do I think this possibly is a part of your plan to uh, rejuvenate your career or to take your career in a different direction? Because what I want you, to, what I think you are doing is, oh God, I'm just like you. My nigga cheated on me just like yours did. I'm just like you, but I am standing up with the rest of you lonely, miserable bitches and I'm gonna leave his ass. Child, you know, Tasha K was saying on her review that, um, you know, it hurts Wendy not to wear her wedding ring. But she was recently seen out 
with her wedding ring on. And I'm saying to myself, hold it, Clarence, hold it. So you got a new dude, okay, that is allowing you to wear your wedding ring while y'all supposed to be dating? I, I, I'm not subscribing to the fuck shit. Hang that out, I'm not subscribed. Point out a couple of things to you. So when paparazzi came to the window and was like, hey Kev, she was like, that's not Kevin. I was like, I know them motherfuckers ain't trying to act like that dude right there is supposed to be Big Kev. Now I thought that they were trying to say that that dude was Little Kev. But what, y'all trying to say that that dude sitting over there hunched over like, is, is, is Big Kevin? Or looks like Big Kevin? No, he looks like Little Kev. Okay, I'm not buying it because I hate to say this. Please forgive me, young man who's in the car, but you're not good I'm enough. Not. Wendy, I told you to go find some rapper dick, not Rodney from the fucking corner. Like he just like when he's sitting in the car, like his posture, his posture was hunched over, meaning lack of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Like posture means a lot when you're dealing with somebody. Like when somebody stands tall, that shows that they're a juggernaut in this world, you know? Like basically, get the fuck out of my way because I'm coming through. But when you deal with somebody with poor posture, like he was in the phone, he was like, and then he would look up sometimes at the camera. Let me say this to you, Wendy. When women are going through some things, child, and when, you know, we are down or we feel like we've been shitted on, child, in desperation, you will pick up trash. Do you hear me? Out of desperation, you will pick up trash because you just want somebody to tell you what you need to hear when y'all are together. So we're not paying attention to the bullshit. We just trying to Find somebody to sweep us off our feet right quick. While all the time we're still in love with somebody else. And it's obvious the way that she was crying. Oh, you know, this is so hard for me. <laughs> I know it's hard, bitch. But why would you do that in front of another guy that you were supposedly dating? Because y'all know, like I know, a street nigga would be like, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, roll that window up right quick. Let me talk to you disrespectful to the dude you're in the car with baby i know that you're a star baby i know that you're you know that you're going through some things with your divorce but why you on a date with me you won't get yourself together you will not be talking to the paparazzi and be crying about your situation in front of me and that's how i was like nah this ain't real this ain't her dude y'all lying y'all are lying she was like i'm sorry let me and the guy just slightly rubbed her leg like it's okay it's okay wendy i know you used to old dirty dick motherfucking kevin senior but girl don't pick up that other picture of herself where she's sitting you know looking out into the sunset and the guy's hand was on her you know i guess was on her you know comforting her child did y'all see them nikes what goddamn rapper, Jeezy, I told your ass to get with Jeezy. Jeezy, call Wendy Williams' ass. She needs you, baby. Now, when she showed the picture and, you know, he was comforting her. She was looking out into the sunset. Like, oh, this is beautiful. This is everything I want. Let me tell you something about Air Force Ones, why we don't wear them or those sneakers like that, okay? Back home, we gave those sneakers up. You know why? Or well, at least the cool dudes or the street dudes. You know why they don't want, you know, all we wear back home is New Balance. And we've been wearing it since 1980 for all y'all motherfuckers that be like, oh, New Balance started down here. They started in Baltimore. They started in Philadelphia. No, motherfucker. The New Balance started, the, the street dudes was wearing New Balance back in the 80s, baby. This is the reason why we don't wear them damn shoes. Because you can wear the shoes three times and then you end up looking like you've been walking in a march for herpes for goddamn all day. Well, I will never buy a pair of shoes like that. They crease too quickly. And you know, once a crease is in a shoe, they're no good no more. Okay? Some people think, oh, let me still wear, no! Throw them 
them motherfuckers away. Because they crease too easily. Or if you got the money, you just buy like two, three, four, five pair at a time. If you got the money like that. But you can't tell me that Wendy Riches or motherfucker Williams is around here dating a dude that got creases in his sneakers. You can't tell me that. Nothing about that goddamn interaction between him and her seemed believable. I'm sorry. Wendy Williams, you need more people because we don't fucking believe Move you. on to, I told y'all, I told y'all motherfuckers, I told y'all that Wendy got a breast reduction. I told y'all. Now, how it went over my head, I don't know. But she was around there talking to Black China about plastic surgery. But she admitted that she has had a breast enhancement. And along the way, she has had some breast reduction. Reduction. I knew them titties looked better. I knew them titties stopped looking like big ass oversized watermelons and now they looking like cantaloupes. I knew I wasn't crazy, but because she didn't say it, came out and say, hey guys. Y'all motherfuckers thought I was crazy. But what she did was she subtly put it in there. I've gotten breast enhancements and I've gotten breast reductions. We know you did. When your ass passed out with the Statue of Liberty stunt, your ass was gone for six weeks or two weeks or three weeks, however long you go. Just enough for them titties to hit. Next thing is, what the fuck are you doing with Black China? What the fuck are you doing with her? Is Black China the one that introduced you to that goddamn dusty dude that was sitting there in the car with you, hunched all over, looking on his camera, looking up like, did the camera see me? Do they see me? Is that what's going on with you? Did China introduce you to that little boy? Now, little boy, I don't know you. Young man, I don't know you. I don't know your life. You could be a good person. Like I say, you could listen to birds. You could pick up litter. You could feed the children. You can uh, love butterflies. I mean, hell, you may even be a rapper up and coming. I don't fucking know. But you're not good enough for Wendy Williams. You know, cancers, you know, they don't look at money because, you know, she's rich. And she's a cancer. You know, cancers believe in love. You know, they believe that they can eat love. Be like 97 children and fucking, they be like, oh, it's no food. And you be like, oh, it's love in the refrigerator. Go eat that Black food. I don't know what the hell her and Black China are doing together. All Black China's going to do is pull you down to the gutter. You know, not that Black China's in the gutter because, you know, we're from the D, we're both from the DMV. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is China got a result to like, getting paid by up and coming rappers to, you know, take pictures with them so that they can get, you know, some clout or something like that's, that's black China's life. Wendy Williams, that don't have to be your life. Don't let, man, if that is black China's dirty ass down low cousin, I'm gonna be mad at you lady. I'm so tired of y'all coming in my comments talking about some, oh, well, who is she? What does she do? I block holes. That's what I do. Get out my comments, bitch, before I block you. Don't ask me to unblock you. My unblock button broke. And don't come in my comments ask me to unblock your friends. Because you can go join them, hope, at the block party. With DJ no post yet on the ones and twos. Go nay nay, hope. See, what y'all fail to realize is a lot of y'all get blocked by default. I can catch you on somebody else's page being shady or too opinionated and I block your ass. Because I don't want you to catch no plane to travel to my page to be shady, bitch. So I block you before you get there. Ain't always about me. Your ways got you blocked. Oh, baby, don't feel played. I blocks everybody. Bitch, I block my mama for coming in my comments telling me what I shouldn't be doing. Baby, you could have texted me that. Don't try to chastise me for my friends, baby. You got to go. Blocked. So, if you have not already liked this video, please do so. Subscribe and hit that bell on the right so you can be notified of all my up and coming videos. Now, remember this the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.